welcome back to the broker style animation tutorial and in today's lesson we are going to plunge more into adding effects on the scene a few adapts to the shapes on the floor and finally transitioning into the letter a and bear in mind this tutorial i'm taking my time to plunge more into details details as to how to create the transitions the effects everything that you need to know hang around if you like this channel make sure you subscribe comment down there let me know that you guys are following let's just jump straight into the tutorial so over here we just want to make the scene pop up it's not really looking flat but just some few skirmishes to pop it up so what i'll do is i would like to make the red lines that i have on the floor have some glow effect to give the scene some vibe what i'll do is i'll open up my mat yes so this way i've saved my mat if you can remember so i'll just scroll to find the mat that i've created for the lines on the floor right here these are the red lines that i've created for the mat on the floor i'll just double click to open it up and i'll drag it into the timeline yes so what i can do next is to solo it out and make sure the background is on transparency and i will come to the effect and presets and i will type luma and just double click to add it up so i will increase the threshold about it and we have some bleeds on the edge of the mat so i'll use the edge thing 0.5 to remove it up from there so i think we are okay with that for now i'll solve it out and here we have the mat on the floor to make sure we add the glow to it i'll create an adjustment layer right on top and i'll make it glow right there so i'll just go to my track mat and track mat it to the mat that we've created right here so what we have in the scene currently i'll just change the color so that i know that i've demarcated them separately so with the glow i'll go to the effect preset and search for glow and i'll drop the glow right on top and i'll drop it right on top on the mat as well and with the glow on the top i'll make it 20 and i'll make the intensity about five yes with the one i've added on the mat as well with the glow i'll make this one 15 and make this one three not to make it too much so you see that immediately what we've done let me just toggle it on and off so this is before and this after before and after so we just added up some vibe to the scene so what else i can do in this to pop few things up is to add some shapes on the floor so i've designed some shapes so this is the shape that I've created. I'll just drag and drop it right in. So with this shape, I'll change the color to white. I'll add my fill in the effects and presets. And I'll change the color to what? White. And I'll move quickly to make it a 3D layer. And from there, I'll hold my shift on the parent link. I'll hold my shift on the keyboard. With the parent link selected, I'll drag it to the floor to locate the plane that is the floor exactly so i will put it on a shape on the floor that i know it's going to make sense so i will rotate it on the s as is about 90 right there and i'll make the scale go way down exactly so i'll zoom in to fit it exactly on where i want it to be and i'll just scale it out a bit like this let's play it out and see how it's looking just take it to the top when you parent a shape to now and you move it it to mess up the track points make sure you don't mess up with the position of the shape that you parent in the now if not you might find yourself in this situation by readjusting it i think that's fine i shouldn't have moved it on the y axis i should have just maintained it there and just scale it up from the top make sure whilst you are parenting your shapes to the now don't be moving it up and down so that it will maintain its original position so i think that's cool right over there i think that's cool i can just populate it up to randomize it in my scene Control d to duplicate that up so what i can do over here is to add some few time codes so i'll quickly just right click on top of this layer go to test and type a random number zero zero that's fine and i'll just center the anchor point so let me just solo it out 
Black, let me just change to white real quick. To center an anchor point, you can hold your control and you click on the pan behind, double click on it. And you have your anchor point right in the middle. Or you do control, alt and home key to center your anchor point right in the middle. That's another tip right there. So I'll just follow it out and open the text way up. And I'll add an effect from the effect and presets. That's, I'll type time. And under the number counters, you have the timer countdown, mono spaced. So I'll just double click to add it up right there. So if you add up the time, it will give you a default time that you can see on your screen. So I just want it to run from zero to a random number. Probably I'll just make it six. So what I'll do is I'll hit on my letter U to cascade out the animation keyframe. I'll swap it right here. Since the countdown, we have the number counting from a higher number to a lower one. So I just swap it up to have it in ascending order. So I'll take off the show labels so as to have the minutes, the hours off. Let me just make it only to the minutes in a second. So I'll move to the next keyframe by hitting on letter K to move to the next keyframe. And I'll change the time to, let me make it 20, exactly. So I'll push this one way to the end, yes. So I'll center the anchor point by holding control and double clicking on the pan behind and I have it right in the middle. I'll turn the layer into 3D and I'll hold my shift on the parent link and I'll parent it to the what? To the plane, which is the floor now. That's fine. And from here, I'll push this time code right around here so that it can be facing the camera. I'll push it right here and I'll change the rotation minus 90 and I'll change the Z as well to 90 push it around here and scale it down so let's do a quick preview plate and see okay we can make the animation start way 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 before it starts playing so I can take this keyframe and move it back so that it starts playing long before the video starts playing like that looking nice but we have some issues with the boss that we've created i mean the shape that we have over here it's actually on top of the boss moving so you actually want to send it down so with that you have to just select everything that we've created as a shape and we change the mats we track the mats to the box which is this one right there so quickly as we've done that you can see that the shape has been buried under the box so what we can do to make the scene look professional this is actually okay this is actually perfectly fine but we can do this to look more attractive so we can change the blend mode with all selected we can change the blend mode from here but there's no time of going through that one after the other you can use a shortcut you hold your shift key and you click on the plus sign to be changing your blend modes you hold your shift, you see that it's changing, multiply, color balance, you hold your shift and you're adding the plus sign and the minus to be changing your blend modes to see the one that fits perfectly. Overlay all the soft light works perfectly fine. So I will just go with my overlay. So we have our shape not looking as regular, looking professional, very, very, very cool. So let's focus on the transition that we're gonna have in the middle right here. Let's focus on that transition. Bear in mind, the transition that we are going to create, we are going to use a placeholder because we are not having the second scene from here. We are just going to use a placeholder to transition right on top. So if we have the next scene created, we can just replace it with a placeholder that we are going to have in this particular tutorial. So guys, just import any image from your library into the scene. So this is the image that I have. You can drag it down to fit your screen. There's another shortcut that you can use to fit any image that's overboard from your canvas. You can just fit it exactly to your plane. So with that, you hold your control, Alt and F, exactly, and you fit your image to your frame. So I'll check the visibility off, and I'll open up the mat. I've created a mat inside the A to help us transition. So I'll look for that mat quickly. Yes, so this is the mat. I made it inside. So I'll just open up the first one and it will load up as sequence exactly. 
we have it right there i'll solo it out make it transparent yes so this is the mat we've created for the transition so without wasting any time we can copy the mat we have on the red one the effect we can copy the luma key and paste it on the current one exactly no time to go back to your effect preset and be typing the luma key again copy and paste you are good to go that's fine so we are going to take off the eye of the mat turn back on the transition one and parent it to the mat exactly so this is what we have for the transition so i'll quickly go to my effect and preset so i'll quickly type block and dissolve digital so this is what i'm going to use so i'll quickly just click and drag on top of the first layer right there so holding alt i'll check of the expressions on it i'll just alt press on them to quickly take them off i will make sure i'll create a transition right here before it starts entering up into the letter around this edge i will make the block width around 800 on the width and i'll make it 800 as well on the height exactly so i'll toggle up my transition completion to see how it's looking so this is how i wanted it to look like right from around this edge so i'll lock up the animation and i'll move it to about entering the letter and you easy easy on the f9 key with the keyframe I'll just quickly right click on it, go to my keyframe assistant and do my F9, which is the easy ease. So let's play it out and see how it's looking slowly around this region. Then the transition starts right from here, opening up and we have it boom, into the next thing. So we have it around this edge. So mind you, the shape that we have as a placeholder right here is the next thing that we are going to show in the next tutorials make sure you like you comment and you subscribe to this channel in the next phase of this animation i'm going to make sure i move a bit faster so we've successfully completed the first animation on the first scene and i've taken my time to explain everything into detail to you as to how to go around everything that you need to know about the broadcast animation it's a bit slow on the first scene because I want you guys to understand the dynamics and everything that you need to know on the subsequent ones I'm going to create is going to be a bit faster. So guys, if you like this channel and everything that I'm showing you totally free and taking my time to teach you, make sure you like, you subscribe and guys, see you next time. Bye.